welcome to my youtube training channel manucloudlearning.com today i am going to talk about esx 6.7 how to install esx 6.7 if you have a vmware workstation in your pc i am just going to demonstrate how to install the same in my case i am having vmware workstation 14 that is one of the latest workstation that you can install in your any of the laptop or desktop pcs in order to test the labs okay i'm just going to create the vmware esxa 607 over here i don't want to go with the typical recommended option instead of that let me go with the custom advanced option say next just go with esxa 6.5 compatibility say next you can browse your is over here in my case i am using 60 days trial esxa as you can see here the, this is just 330 mb file just say open say next just go with the esxa virtual compatibility as you can see here version version automatically pick as vmware esxa 6.5 or later in our case it's a 6.5 no it's not it's a 6.7 say the correct one and say next I'm just going to rename this virtual machine name as 6.7 test. Let me browse where I can have some space in order to create the virtual disk. I have some space under the VMware Manu Cloud Learning. Say OK. Click Next. I'm having only one physical processor. but i am having four cores let me use the maximum physical resource over here say next i want to use 8 gb for this esxa node my physical machine is that is a 16 gb i going to use half of this overall memory say next i want to use bridge networking say next let it be io control type as it is go with the ice case recommended just create a new virtual hard disk 40 gb is sufficient for this installation i want to use this option store virtual disk as a single file this is a virtual disk hard disk file i want to customize my hardware before going to customization i'll just show you what are the network which is available in my pc which is connected physically so one virtual this is not virtual this is a physical one which i am using for heartbeat or v motion purpose another one which i want to use as a management purpose and the last one this is for storage remaining thing you can you can ignore okay so in my case i want to add three adapter over here let me add one adapter just say next or network adapter okay let me add one more one is already there by default now i am having total three each virtual nick i going to i am going to map to specific vnix vnet 0 that i am aware that is mapped to the management the next nick i going to map to v motion or habit the third one which i going to map to ice case storage in my case i do not have the fiber channel environment so i will use the ethernet channel in order to present the lands over here so let me go with the ice case storage which is mapped to the ice case nick just say close click on finish now our esx virtual machine has been created let me do drag and drop inside this particular folder so that there is no confusion over here so let me just power on this particular virtual machine if you have existing esxc which is installed then you can boot from in our case it's a fresh installation just go with the installer
this will load the basic file in order to proceed the installation steps As you can see here, it's, I am using AMD Athlon processor and 8 gig memory. And similar way, as you can see, the version 6.7. This is the kernel release build 816.9.9.2. Normally, this installation will take 10 to 15 minutes max. While loading this setup, I'll just show you how I have mapped the, this network to physical. If I go to this edit button, there is an option called virtual network editor. I'm just talking about the VMware workstation feature. It's not related to the ESXi. Just say it's change settings. As you can see, VMNet 0 is tagged with so and so virtual, not virtual, physical Ethernet NIC and hash to Realtek Gigabit Ethernet family is uh, controller hash 2 is tagged to VMotion and IceCase storage. If you want to bridge any of the adapter like this, just say add network, select which is available the VNet number. And later, apart from VNet0, you can rename if you want to rename this just selected item, just say rename network. That's all. As you can see, the virtual machine settings, how I given it's four processor, one physical processor in the sense it's a virtual uh, core and 40 GB virtual disk space and 8 gig memory and three virtual links which is already connected to the physical I have done the bridging for the same so this is just an instruction welcome to the ESXi 607 installation VMware ESXi 6070 install on most of the system but only systems on VMware compatibility guide are supported this is just for the demonstration purpose in a real-time production environment we don't prefer VMware workstation this is just for demonstration purpose I am using this just say enter this is end user license agreement and so just say F11 to agree with the same Now, as you can see, uh, I have mapped just 40 GB for this virtual machine. It's a ESX A6 or 7. Just say uh, I am going to use the local disk space as a 40 GB. Enter to continue. I want to use my keyboard layout as US default. Now they were asking the root password. I'm just going to give one of the root password. Let me use case sensitive. I think wrong. Uh, let me type once again. Yes, password match. 
say enter to continue. Yes, the installer is configured to install 6.7 on your so and so virtual disk. It's just a warning. This disk will be repartitioned. So it's a fresh machine, so repartition that, that doesn't have any issues. Just go with F11 to install. It may take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to in order to complete the installation. Okay, the next slide I am just going to demonstrate how to configure the ESXA after the installation. So, thank you for watching. You can subscribe my channel if you want, if you wish to uh, go for more videos.